Bra, the, the, the infamous incident <laughs> that um, it it got it got me banned actually by James. So I'll, I'll tell you that. So so when we were training, you asked about the broomstick incident. You asked about the broomstick incident, and um, James, I, I believe, has told the story a few times. When we were training, so part of our training is um, we would have to do these um, these long walks. Now, in 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 those in those days, <laughs> in those days when I was young, no, <laughs> but um, but we we did unarmed walks. So you would walk by yourself through the bush. Now again. This is not recommended. This is only if you're a professional and if you understand the bush. Even some professionals that do understand the bush still do not go out without a rifle. Some prefer not to go out with a rifle. Anyway, that's besides the point. The thing, we did these walks where we had to learn the property that we were guiding on. And we would do it by ourselves. We had a radio. We had water. So we were safe. Food and water. So we were safe. But it, um, and it was towards the end of our training. So we had a lot of experience already with viewing animals. But the idea is that you get a feel for um, for viewing animals on foot and being completely hidden so that they don't see you, they don't notice you. So it's a very crucial um, part of guiding and understanding. Anyway, so we would do these walks. It was about 10 days, or meant to be about 10 days. I think mine was about 15. <laughs> they made me walk a number of routes again. Um, but um, I would carry out a, a broomstick. And it's nice to walk with a stick. And I had this really great broomstick. And I would walk with this broomstick every day. And I had my backpack and the radio would be on it. And off I'd go and walk. And the one day, bumped into this big elephant bull. Actually, what had happened was, walking along the road and didn't hear a thing. Elephant wasn't feeding or anything like that. Came around a bend. And as I got around the bend, an elephant was walking down the road from the opposite direction. And it came around the bend too. We both kind of got a bit of a, bit of a fright. And I backed up slowly I thought oh dear this is not good and he kept walking down the road towards me so I backed up backed up backed up and um, I then made my way just off the road to try and give him space and there were a few trees much about the same size as these trees behind me um, and I tried to cover myself and stand closer to the tree so I had a bit of protection this Ellie bull came and he stopped in the road and he turned and he shook his head at me like this I, I just stood and then he, he mock charged and he came towards me. <clears throat> and often if you make a loud noise or clap your hands, anything like that, elephant do get a bit startled and they'll stop and choose to move off. So I shouted and I waved the broomstick around and um, the elephant did stop. It, it retreated back and turned and moved off. Um, now I'd been viewing elephant for many, many years before that. So it wasn't my first elephant encounter, but when I got back to camp, we have to give a debrief all the time of what happened on our walk and what we saw. And um, I gave the debrief thinking I had done the right thing. James and a few of the other senior guides did not see it that way. And they, um, they, uh, they were quite upset with me and they shouted at me and they said, How dare you challenge a five or six ton elephant bull with a broomstick? Who do you think you are? And again, it's part of the training. So... I understand, I apologize, but they then banned me for about, I think it was three days. I wasn't allowed out of camp, and um, so it wasn't ideal. But it, but they forgave me, and they said it was okay, and now we can laugh about it. So, <laughs> James loves that story. Every time every time we mention elephant sightings or anything, he goes, well, did you have your broomstick with you? <laughs>